What's up, Wassum friends? Welcome back to a very special episode of the Keep It Wassum podcast. I have with me Jared Crooks with me today, and we're going to talk about the Wassa Center Mall. But before I get to that, I want to give a shout out to my wonderful sponsors. Big thank you to Scani's Ale House and Eatery. Man, I love your food and your beer. Great place. And a big special shout out to Campbell Haynes Menswear. You guys have been with me from the beginning. I love you guys. Great styles and way less expensive than those big box stores. So go check them out. And last but not least, my uh, newest sponsor and they're, they're really great. Verve Salon. Verve Salon, and no matter what your skin type, your hair color, they got you covered, man. They're going to take care of you. They're, they're good people. So Verve Salon, go check them out. And none of those businesses are in the mall, thankfully, because the mall is now closed. So that's what we're here to talk about today. The first demolition started this week. Um, they've started, they took some of the letters down. They took the Sears letters down and the JC Penny letters down. And they started like breaking up the sidewalk a little. I'm not really sure. I don't really understand their their technique or process because like they haven't really touched the actual mall building yet. So I'm not sure how they're handling that. But uh, I just want to kind of talk about the mall and what it's meant to Wausau. So I put a uh, uh, so I brought Jared Crooks on because he's kind of my 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 co my co host when I do these type of things. Uh, and appreciate you having here, Jared. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I. Anytime that there's something that I really don't, but I could talk about, you know, like I'm here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you, you're a Wasa, you're a Wasa kid, so you remember the mall. Yeah, it's been around. You got memories in the mall. My whole life until this moment. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. Yeah. So, uh, you know, before we start, uh, I thought we'd, I thought I'd give you an opportunity to kind of plug your, your new movie that you're working on that I've been helping out with too, and maybe you can tell. Uh, Who told tell... you about this? <laughs> Who told you about this movie? This like, is top uh, secret stuff. Well, I think it was. I think it was. I think Dan told me about it when I was on set and acting in it, but oh. or whatever it is I do that might be considered <laughs> acting. Right, you show up and try to pretend to be somebody that you're oh, we not. Were, yeah. Oh, we were shooting a movie. I didn't, I just thought we were hanging out and playing pretend. <laughs> I was yeah, wondering what all it. those cameras were doing there. Isn't that weird? Playing pretend. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A new movie in the works called the big gift. Uh, it's a fun Christmas adventure film. You've never seen a Christmas movie like this. I can promise you that it, this, it, this has not been done and uh, it's going to be something uh, the whole family can enjoy. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think they're gonna they're gonna be a little surprised, like kind of like, wow, this is okay. This is an interesting take on Christmas. But yeah, there's nothing nothing quite like having a North Pole battle in in the middle of your movie. To you know, it's just you just don't see that every day. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, plus, I play, I play like I don't know five characters in it or something. Yeah. Oh, you're like the none of guy, but you just you, you know you're the like. To get out man in this movie you're uh, there, which is an extra you just like to get out and enjoy life because <laughs> so i was gonna because i was gonna say i have like five roles and not a single line <laughs> my favorite is the fact that you you know a full-grown you know 40 year old man is waiting in line to, to sit on santa's lap that's so, true uh, I don't, I don't... <laughs> that's a little that's weird a huh? child. that is a little strange yeah well, I think I borrowed. Didn't I borrow a kid? I think we did just kind of sneak a child. It was like, this is going to be your yeah, child. Yeah, I just pretended to have a kid. I tried to get my niece to come, but she just, uh, I don't know why she didn't go. She just didn't. Sometimes you're just scared to see Santa, you know what I mean? But it is what it is, man. So, well, anyway, um, you know, I, I, I was, I thought I would throw this out there on Facebook just to kind of see what kind of traction it would get. Um, just kind of asking people their memories on, on the mall and what what it meant to them and some something that like really sticks in their mind and uh, I guess I was surprised because I thought I'd get like two or three and there's like 20 comments under here so I thought we just kind of <laughs> yeah well a lot of them are pretty good um, and worthy of comment but I thought I'd I thought I'd start with you Jared uh, since you're, you're my guest here today you're my guest host and uh, I wanted to ask you like you know what kind of what kind of memories stick out for the mall for you? And you were mentioning about filming in the mall. Yeah, I did. I did one time film in the mall without permission. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was, See, we should just uh, do that again. 
I should have when we were doing uh, this big gift. But, uh, you know, the older you get, you try to uh, follow the rules a little bit more. So but, for uh, people that don't know the story, we tried to get in the mall uh, to film it. It was would have been, you know, the last few months that it was open. And uh, we were denied because of lawyers. So it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? Lawyers are involved. That's that's how it goes. You just, you know, piss and moan about it. That's about all you yeah. can do. Yeah, we did, we did plenty of that, didn't we, friend? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, <laughs> but, like for, a, for a week straight, <laughs> ee, ee, that's the type message that, that I type yeah. you with those three messages. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of that cat on the keyboard, you know, his paws are yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, in 2005, I, you know, I, I shot in there for a little short film that we were doing. I wouldn't say that's like my fondest like memory of the mall or anything like that. I mean, mm -hmm. that, but you know, I have, I'll, I'll see if I can find that footage. I'll send it to you. And yeah. That'd I, be awesome. Oh, here it is. This is the footage, but if mm -hmm. I don't, then there's nothing here. But, <laughs> um, uh, so I worked in the mall. I had a couple of jobs there. I worked at uh, KB toys when that was there. That was my uh, second mm -hmm. job. So that was, that was fun. We, you know, what was fun about that is uh, I love toys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> but no, the uh, there was a guy that would always come in and he would bring these Barbies and he would want to return them. Well, what he would do is he would go to Walmart <laughs> and he would buy them a lot cheaper and then bring them to the mall to try to profit. Oh, uh, nice. Arbitrage. Yeah. Uh, and then the other job that I had uh, Wait, I want to stay on crazy customers because okay, I, yeah. so I, I used to run a I ran a sunglass store in the mall back in the day. I think it was like 25 or six or something when I did this. I had this guy that would come in and we, we called him crazy Ray-Ban guy because the dude was obsessed with Ray-Ban sunglasses. It was kind of funny because these are Ray-Bans. Um, maybe he influenced me, I don't know, but he would he would come in and just spend an hour talking to me about Ray-Ban sunglasses. Like the history or you just... I would just talk about why, why he liked them. I think he said pretty much the same thing every time, but he'd be like, man, aren't those Ray-Bans, aren't they just the coolest? And they'd be like, yeah. yep, they sure are. <laughs> I've never and seen it, anything like it. <laughs> and, they, and these are the ones he liked. Actually, these are the ones, the Wayfarers, these are the ones he liked. Like this was his, you know, obviously there were sunglasses and I'd turn mine into glasses, but these, these were the ones that he was all about, like these Ray-Bans. So, but there was always quirky people like that. That, that one just, you just reminded me of that when you talked about the customer coming in, but. Yeah, there was, uh, I liked, I liked, um, I think it was Wednesdays or every other Wednesday, we'd have like um, new shipment day, right? And that, and Randy actually worked, my buddy Randy, Randy Valpakti, he worked at KB Toys as well at the same time, but we never worked at the same time, except on shipment day, uh, we'd be in the back and we'd be putting all the price tags in that, you know, dungy looking like hallway they had back there. Um but I really enjoyed, I think, you know, I don't know how long I worked there, but I did enjoy those those few times that Randy and I put price tags on the toys. Well, you know, that's one thing I kind of forgot about being, you know, being like 20 is like you get these shitty jobs, but then you work them with your friends. So they're kind of fun, even though they're shitty. And yeah. like, I don't know, I kind of miss that. Like, it's, I don't know, it just feels like that world of work doesn't work that way when you're older for some, for whatever reason. It just gets more serious or something. I don't know, but it was fun back in the day. I remember like when I unloaded trucks at Target, that was a, that was a lot of fun. We just like every night, I actually liked going to work just because, you know, I was with all my friends. We'd spend all night joking around and we get work done too, but you know, it, it was fun. Like <laughs> I kind of missed that. Yeah. I, well, I'll tell you right now, I, I just, you know, <laughs> I think that with the, with the pandemic and everything, right. Just miss being mm -hmm. around people in general. Yeah. I just want to be around people and enjoy the time together and yeah well, I think yeah well, I brought that up too because the mall was like it, the mall was like that like but then you had all these other stores so it wasn't just like people where you worked but it was like all it was kind of like a community the the mall workers were kind of a community and you got to know everybody um because I, I worked you know probably from the late probably from like 99 to I think 2003, I worked like a number of jobs at the mall, but uh, the longest was at the sunglass store where I was actually the manager of it, but otherwise, but yeah, I worked at, I worked a bunch of different jobs. Like some, I didn't, some didn't last very long. I think I worked at, do you remember that mattress store? 
Ooh. Uh, it was like that mattress store kind of in the corner. Uh, it was where that Zumia store was last. Okay. But it was like a little store. It wasn't that big store like yeah. that. But I remember like part of the job was you were supposed to play golf outside of the thing. Like you're supposed to have a little oh. putting green. And the whole idea is people come up to you, you can play golf at work. And then that like gets them talking to you and be like, yeah, well, I got to do something while I'm selling these mattresses, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a tactic. It surprisingly worked though, because people would come up and talk to you and then they come in. Well, I don't know if it worked that well, because I only sold one mattress the whole time I was there, which was like oh, two weeks. Two weeks. Oh. Two weeks. And then I, I got a, I got a different job that paid better. And so <laughs> sure. I left a note. I left a note on the, the manager's desk and threw the keys through the <laughs> through like through the gate when I closed it after I locked it. And I'm I was done. like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Dude, that's oh. prison. It's a prison. That was, it was terrible, man. I liked that. Well, uh, you know what I have to say? It, when they remodeled the mall, I don't know when that remodeling happened. Was that 2000? Sometime in 2000 something, right? They remodeled it and put in that. Boy, I don't even remember when that was. It was after I worked there. I know that. But I loved the water fountains that they yeah. had when it came down in there. Um yeah, in fact, uh, it's funny you bring that. One of my commenters, uh, Jessica, Jessica mentioned it. Let me see. Yeah, she 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 called them the mesmerizing fountains. Yeah. And uh, when they would make the, they lived an hour and a half away. She says, and you know, that was one of the things that she always remembered was seeing the, seeing the fountains. You know, and for her, she, I think she kind of lived in the country, so it was like coming to the big city, quote big unquote. City of Plaza. Come on. Did you like you? Did you live out kind of in the country too? Like, was that your childhood uh, home that I visited, or was that new? Uh, I well, I moved around a little bit, but you know, I originally okay. lived lived off of Grand Avenue. Oh, okay. Uh, so, but then that was when I was a kid, kid, and that's when I remember going to the mall during Christmas and when I was like a kid, like where you'd go and like where I'd get my Ninja Turtle toys. Yeah. <laughs> but then I did move out to Athens. Uh, for uh, middle school, sixth grade. And hmm. so, so then, yeah, then it would be like, oh, going to the big city of Wausau when you're going to Athens. Which, uh, before we, I, I want to get to our list here, but uh, before we do that, like, what was, what was the movie that you filmed in the mall illegally? Oh, uh, <laughs> it was called The Seat Effect. The Seat um, Effect. So it's like a short film. Yeah, it was a short film back in 2005. Gotcha what i want to say i'm gonna once i look at that footage 2005 i don't know if they remodeled them all at that point it's very possible that that old floor is still in that footage interesting i'd love to yeah. see footage of that old fountain because I, I don't know i i don't think i, I can't footage of that though. okay that maybe it'd be in the background or something yeah uh, uh yeah i'll have to check but i remember i did i did like it. i was really sad when that went there was something really really mm -hmm. cool about that uh you know we went to the mall like i used to go to the uh they had that arcade in there Aladdin's Castle. McDonald's. yep yeah when, when mcdonald's was still in the mall um so, <laughs> i'll tell you this uh, it's not like i'm gonna get arrested but uh <laughs> so we had they had like the claw machine yeah and this particular yeah machine that they had you actually were able to stick your arm up in there uh and kind of like don't do this <laughs> but uh because eventually they added like a thing where you couldn't do that but this particular machine still had that and so i was able to get some of the looney tune figures or or, or uh stuffed animals <laughs> like come down. but then like i think my brother i had like two friends that were blocking right <laughs> they were like block it was like because i had, oh, I had yeah. really skinny arms so i was able to uh, hurry up man it's like i can't it's stuck it's like we already we got three of them come on get one <laughs> anyway so uh, you know not that i was a criminal but i just wanted those looney tunes <laughs> did you ever you never got busted i no i only did it one time oh gotcha i thought like this was like a serial thing like you were doing this all the time <laughs> you know <laughs> it was one time we got to get the looney tunes somewhere uh you know what my parents probably got rid of them at this point but I was like a sophomore yeah. in high school. I don't know. <laughs> so let's see. Let's go down the list here. Um, well, first off, uh, my friend Gina talked about uh, actually taking photos to the mall to have them printed. Uh, that's a 
That's a blast from the past, huh? That's some ancient history right there. Imagine having photos printed. And one of my other friends on here, I'll get to in a minute too, used to um, actually worked at Everett's camera. You know, I tried to, I tried to apply there. And I thought I had a pretty good interview, but then they made me sell them a pen. And I was like, I was like, yeah, this is stupid. <laughs> so I didn't get the job. I guess I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, sell a very convincing pen. Unbelievable. So uh, yeah, Jay, my friend JC, he brings up uh, getting bourbon chicken in the mall. So, well, who hasn't gotten bourbon chicken? At Everyone's got bourbon chicken, but you know what? Ain't gonna get no bourbon chicken no more. Well, now you're just gonna have to go to that place that's you know down the road. You can go to Chopsticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they were gonna they were gonna try to open like outside the mall, but they uh, I guess they changed their mind or the the deal fell through. So. I was, I was really hoping they were going to, because they were going to stay downtown. I was like, that's good, because I still I still like going there once in a while. Like, I usually bring, if I go into the office and I have to be there over lunch, I usually bring my own. But once in a while, it's nice to be like, yeah, you know, it's great. I'll just get some bourbon chicken. So the original bourbon chicken people that were at the mall are the Chopsticks owners. Then oh, they are the original people. Yeah, those are the original people. And then ah. when they, they sold it to somebody else. So... Uh, you know, some some people will say that it doesn't taste the same. And it's like, well, it's technically diff different cooks and owners. So, yeah, that's just as well. Um, interesting. Yeah, I might have to go. I want to go see what theirs is like at some point. Yeah, I'm just it. curious. Uh, so, so here's a good one. Uh, so Dave Calloway, shout out to shout out to Dave Calloway. I think he was uh, I think he was my first guest when I came back. Were you my first guest? You know that I have to always be the guinea pig, but yeah. You always were my guinea pig. I, I don't remember if you were my first guest back when I when I awesome. made it yeah, keep it awesome. awesome. Dave came first when you were over at the at Whitewater. The, yeah, yeah, that's right. You were second, I think, huh? Mm -hmm. How many times have you been on the show? Uh, seventy-four. <laughs> seventy-four. <laughs> seventy-four out of fifty-one episodes, fifty-two episodes. <laughs> An impressive number. Yeah. Yeah, we were also the star of my most watched video, which is the live show that we did where you're on the, on the stupid phone. Really? I don't know why that one. Yeah, that one took YouTube just decided to blow that one up. I have no idea why. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm glad I got um, that one. Which is funny because I kind of wish that one would disappear, but... But anyway, uh, yeah, so Dave Calloway commented that I said he used to broadcast our whole show at Wasta Center Mall on Black Friday. He says, so much fun to see moms racing to KB Toys and proclaiming before 7 a.m. in the morning that they were, had, quote, all done with their Christmas shopping. <laughs> so yeah, remember when you just do all your Christmas shopping not online? Yeah. Well, you know, th with that, that actually brought back memories of... Uh, Oh, those darn 7 a.m. openings, which now wouldn't be that early for me. But back then was just like utter hell. I just did not want to get on. So I remember like seeing all these people lined up to get like these $10 mall certificate gift certificates. And I was thinking, man, I would pay $20 to be able to go home and go back to this bed right now. <laughs> Nowadays, I wouldn't even have to set an alarm. This is what getting old is. It sucks. What what people would like to do is, I think it was J.C. Penny that would do this. Is you'd be get in line and you'd get a, uh, a a globe, like a Disney globe, every year. You know, oh, like, yeah, I think that was one of the, the things that J.C. Penny would do. Is like, and you'd people would want to collect their uh, Christmas snow globes, but you'd have to be there Black Friday, right, to get to get to J.C. Penny and get that mm -hmm. dumb globe. That's how they get you. Did you, so you, you worked at KB Toys. Did you work during the Christmas season? Actually, um, I think I got out of it just before then because I'm oh. just like, I don't, I don't want to work on Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, I don't Man, I did, my time, I did my time in retail, man. It's, it's uh, Black Friday sucks. I, I, yeah. Now, even nowadays, I, like, I refuse to go to any stores on Black Friday. I just won't do it. Because I remember the hell that I had I had to go through when I went there. Well, Plus, like I just I don't I'm not interested in it anyway. Like I don't I got I'll spend a f I'd rather spend a few extra dollars than have to deal with that. I covered it a couple times as a journalist. I remember like 
I got sent to Target when I was at the Stevens Point Journal, and I was I, I had worked it out with the Target people beforehand. They they gave me an employee. I was going to follow on the employee, follow around, around the employee for like an hour. <laughs> nice. I swear to God, five minutes, five minutes. I lost her. Never found her again. Oh, is that right? I mean, it was that crazy. I, like there was just hordes of people. Like I had yeah. no no hope of keeping up with her, and I just I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna write about what I saw, and that's that's that. I think we're good. <laughs> Total chaos. <laughs> <laughs> the end. I had I mean, to a couple times. I used to uh, deliver pharmaceuticals. Like I had a delivery job, and yeah. I would deliver on Black Friday. And yeah, it was not fun on those days where I'd have to bring all like my cart full of stuff and try to get through all these people. And then before you know it, you're like walking through, you're like, oh, well, that's a, I'm going to come back. I'm going to check out that deal. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I see. I remember like, you know, Christmas in the mall was always a pretty special time though, especially when you were a kid, you know, I probably didn't like it when I was an adult and had to a young adult and had to be the worker, but and, you know, one of the reasons with, was one of the reasons was the, uh, the almond tree used to always come in around Christmas time. So the mall would smell so good. And I remember like for a little while they were there permanently. And I'm like, that, that just kind of ruins it for me because like like that's part of the Christmas, you know, that smell was part of like signaling that it's Christmas, you know. It's it's like going to California and seeing palm trees and you're like, ooh, palm trees. And then living there, you're like, oh, yeah, look, a tree. Yeah, I'd be like, well, you know, it's kind of the same effect of, you know, like everyone would freak out about Olive Garden because we didn't have one. So if you went to Apple, it's like, oh, we got to go to Olive Garden. And, you know, now we have Olive Garden here. So it's like, who cares? You know, it's a big, it's not a big deal. Right. It's like, we just right. go yeah, there. Access to it all the time. I mean, I don't, I, th- I know people are still going there and stuff, but, you know, it's not <laughs> it's like not, everyone's just like super they excited. They wrote it off. Like, we got one. I don't even care anymore. I'm not going ever. <laughs> but I mean, you know what I mean? It's not like you don't hear much. Uh, you don't hear much of people talk about it really anymore right. like they used to. Hey, so do you remember Bruce the Spruce? Sounds familiar. So uh, this is, this comes from Jen Anderson. She wrote, so she, she said about Bruce the Spruce, and I was like, what on earth is that? It, apparently, J.C. Penney around, around Christmas would have a huge potted tree that a person could stand inside, and then this person would talk to kids that visited through a a smiling purple mesh mounts a mouth, excuse me. I I don't I can't say that I, I was gonna say the only reason that sounds familiar is because <laughs> that sounds like a tree, but uh yeah. I, just, I don't know what that is. Yeah, she said I don't think there's a picture of us where my baby brother isn't crying and I'm not covering my ears. Apparently <laughs> apparently it was uh it was supposed to delight the children and kind of did the opposite, horrified them instead. As these things usually do. Right. Like when they go to see Santa, you know, Santa, he's kind of scary. You know, so. Oh, yeah. He scares the, scares the heck out of some kids. But, you know, uh, you know, it's, the, the other one is that Easter Monk Gardens had this Easter bunny over there. Man, that thing was that was something out of a horror film. <laughs> they had like this plaster face instead of like a fuzzy face. And man, it looked creepy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the eyes don't close. Right. Yeah. That's kind of, it never blinks. Like, why aren't you blinking? Freaking me out, man. Yeah. If you don't blink, there's something going on here. What is this camera? Come on, focus. Yeah. What's with that camera, man? Did you get it at the mall? (laughs) It's very old. You know, it's funny. You know, what's funny is I bought a webcam a while back and it does that too. And my laptop one, my regular laptop one doesn't do it at all. It's really weird. So, uh, the cinema webcam, yeah, just the highest quality possible. Yeah, or just one that focuses. Um, or that. Or that. So, uh, yeah, Nathan Halama, who's a, a martial arts teacher in town, talks about doing uh, demonstrations there. And then they had the Badger State games there recently. But uh, I was going to say that, that was one of the cool things, even about working in the malls. There was always, every, every once in a while on a Saturday, there'd be something weird, like there'd be like, all of a sudden they'd have, they, they bring in like all those dogs, you know, and they'd have like the dog show there. Um, oh, that, I kind of missed yeah. that too. It was kind of a, kind of a focal point for stuff like that. There was uh when I was working at Hoffman Hobbies, uh, 
they had they they were filming a show at the same time that I was there. They filmed the Food Court Wars show. Oh yeah, I remember that episode there. I remember and that. So I had to get involved, you know, because I was like, oh yeah, I know I know about video, and I want to, you know, I just up on the show, and they 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 brought me in as a production assistant. Oh nice. Excited. Yeah, and uh, so I show up and like, all right, well, the first thing you're going to be doing today is you're going to just take off all these labels that are on these cans. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, all right, I can do that. So I do that. And then they're like, as I'm doing that, they're like, hey, hey, uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, Jared. Yeah, 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 Jared, come here, come here. And then it's like, all right, so we're filming on these two two spots or the two spots that we have um we need you to just mop the floor i was like oh yep yep i can do that I'll, all right no problem you know and then it's like hey this 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 chalkboard this this needs to be washed okay all right sure so like the first day was just me cleaning and doing like the dumbest stuff ever so then day two day two happens and like mm -hmm. um today uh we need you to just stand right here and the extras are going to be coming in to try the food and stuff. But we need you to make sure that people go around and that they don't come into the shots. So you need to stand at this door and tell people <laughs> to go around. And I'm like, okay, I got, all right. Well, you know, this is an eight hour shift of me standing at this door and telling people to go around. And I'm like, I need to get out of this. I got to <laughs> figure out, I cannot do this. Oh, I can, there's, I just, I'd rather go work back in the Hoffman Hobbies over there, right? And so, all right, this is where it gets bad, right? So this is you were like, thinking you were, they would let you hold like a boom mic or something or. Well, so, but why would something. I, I don't know why I thought that, that that would have been a possibility because they probably already had their crew. But so yeah, what I true, had to yeah. do is I went up, I went up to like the, the manager or the person who hired me, whatever. And I like, uh, I was like, I, I, I just got a phone call. My, my grandma's in the hospital. And it's not looking good. So I, my family's going to meet me and my grandma, and then they let me go. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it's whatever. It was my last day. It's not like I was going to be working for him forever. But I was like, I got to right. get out of this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible person. I'm saying my grandma's sick. I'm stealing stuffed animals. This is the worst. This makes me look most terrible. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of a misnomer, right? I mean, you know, really, it's like grunt. It is. It, yeah. So just don't be fooled when they say production assistant. You'll be grabbing a broom before you know it and sweeping, sweeping for the kings coming through. Yeah. Well, uh, so uh, Liberty brings up an interesting point. And this is something we can talk about, too, because she, she mentions Aladdin's castle, which we talked about, you know, and, um, by the way, I assume, you know, if you I assume you had this experience there, like you go in, you start thinking you're pretty good at a game, and then all of a sudden some ki some nine-year-old kid comes in and just wipes the floor with you. Well, I'll tell you, if I was really good at a game, I wouldn't have to stick my arm up in there. I would just do it normal. So. Well, I'm talking about like a video game, though, not, a, oh, <laughs> not right. the crane game. Uh, no, I never thought that because I'm really terrible, but I know what you mean when the kids come in, and that is exactly why I would never put myself in that position. <laughs> But uh, what, what, she brings up a point about stores outside the mall, which I think is really interesting because she mentions like Gateway Comics and the tea shop, Intersleeve, that's a little farther away, and Yankees too. And then one calls news agency that is near where downtown grocery is now. I was never at, but I remember like that was kind of the fun part too. It wasn't just like the mall, but there was some cool stuff around the mall. I was I was a big fan of Gateway. I get my comics there and you know, the tea shop was always fun to go in. Uh, so that, I think that was a cool aspect of it, too. Do you remember that? Did you freeze up? That? Oh, but, do you remember the Hidden Den? Oh, I, I remember the name. Yeah, it. well, I mean, it, it was in a, in a spot. Well, the, you know, I had a whole reduction of Washington Square, like that back end of it or yeah. front end or whatever and um but there used to be a store there called the hidden den and uh, that was like a comic book store uh you know i we i know that was there my my uh junior year in high school oh wait so well we filmed there i know we filmed there once oh nice <laughs> so 
yeah i know i have some footage of the exterior of that stuff so that's that'd be interesting to look back at some of that well, that's cool yeah i mean i i uh i think that was one of the fun parts because all these little shops would would pop up around it and it, it, it kind of was really the part of the mall experience yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i love you know they had a so they had two I, I i'm always always huge into movies obviously and music and so i would go to what the, they had record was it record town record town amulet music camelot camelot yeah 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 and then uh yeah so they were essentially the same like then but uh i like that you can't even go to best buy now and there's cd if i remember weeby cds where you could go and listen to music yeah yeah no i do remember that yeah. man weebies yeah yeah that weebies was a good time I, I have some like there's some music i listen to now that i i discovered you know just listening to music at weebies are you frozen up again man you need some better internet dude <laughs> well while you're frozen i'm gonna go i'm gonna move on hopefully you come back otherwise i'll just do it myself i guess let me know when you come back um so back. Randy, oh, you're back. You're there. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. I was just gonna move on. Uh, our, our good friend Randy mentioned working at Orange Julius KB Toys, as you mentioned, and Pack Sun. Yeah, Randy worked at, like at every single place in the mall. By the nice. way, nice. I don't nice. That must have just been his favorites, huh? I think so. Well, at least you're not frozen. <laughs> hey, there you go. Okay. No, I know. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> so I had, I have, uh, I, I have a shirt that I bought at PacSun and like, it must've been 2001 and it is still like good as new. It's a, like a polo shirt. I think it was, uh, I should have wore it today. <laughs> I didn't think about it. It might be in the wash. Um, probably never it's, a, wore. it's like a skater polo shirt. I think that, I don't know. It just, it's stood the test of time. I've had it forever. Nice. Mm. It outlasted Pack Sun and it outlasted the mall. How about that? You know what's a store that it's not that I don't like that their their style of clothing and I and I think they're actually moving to Rib Mountain is the buckle that's just so expensive. That store is crazy expensive. Yeah, I never I never bought much clothes in the mall other than uh, Pack Sun a few times and I think I used to buy some stuff at the Gap because it actually wasn't it wasn't really that expensive. I don't yeah, think. The, yeah, the Gap's not too bad. Yeah. 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 I remember buying some stuff from there, but yeah, I never went to like the buckle or any of those other Abercrombie and Fitch or any of that stuff. What's that one store where it was like, uh, it looked like it was maybe a slightly Hawaiian themed and then you'd go in and it was very dark in there. What was that, that store? Oh that? yeah. You mean more recently? Uh, no, this was there for like forever. And you're not talking about PacSun? No, not PacSun. I know, yeah, I know PacSun, but this was on the other side. If I think if you're heading over to JC Penny, there was, hmm. was a store there and it was kind of dark in there or very dimly lit. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. I do not remember the name at all. Like at all. I cannot I can't even deal with this. <laughs> it's just like i'm done enough of this mall stuff <laughs> so my friend robert talked about he says uh he says he'd walk to, to the mall to burn some calories and uh he'd, he'd actually sit in the mall and read because he thought the furniture was more comfortable than the library yeah i th they used to have those mas massage chairs so maybe that was where he would go yeah, well, those are comfortable even if you didn't. I, don't, I never turned on the massage part of it, but they were pretty comfortable either way. Yeah, I mean, they probably would prefer if you stuck your dollar in there than just sitting there taking it up. But yeah, I'm yeah. sure they would. I'm sure they would. Uh, they would rather you do that. They'd rather you not take uh, the free experience. But so it goes. Oh, my friend. I, you know what I thought was interesting. It what is when they took. Um, when they took Annie's, because Annie's used to be one place, and then That's they right. moved it into like uh, it had like a stand -up. It was gone for a while. It was like yeah, it had it had like that corner store, and then they took it away, and then it came back as a booth. Hey, you're frozen again. Oh no, there you are. 
Hey. Hey. We got dial up over there. What's going on? It is dial up now. <laughs> At 56K. Yeah. That's what it is. Out, there in, out there in the middle of nowhere in Hudson. You know, it's really not in the middle of nowhere. But hey, do you see that behind me? That right there? Yeah. You know what that is? What? It's helium. Right. It's helium. You know what that's for? No, what? To start the internet? <laughs> yeah, it's to start. <laughs> that's how it. That's how you, plug it your, you plug your modem into it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's really weird. I don't know. That's how they do it here. That's no. for, uh, that's for the, uh, the elves. Oh, yeah, the elves for the movie. Yeah. yeah. For, what's the movie called again? The Big Gift. Yeah. Shameless pro promo there. <laughs> I just Love it. You know, I take my opportunities when I can. I was kind of wondering how you did that. I, I, th I thought it was something more high tech, like you had a, a voice filter or something. It's like, you know, you no, just I, got, you just got some helium. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Me? Hey. hey, Santa. Okay. Oh. So, uh, yeah, so my friend Basin brings up the experience of uh, going to Walden Books and seeing all the cool. Uh, he, you know, he said Piers Anthony novels, and you know, I used to like the Forgotten Realms and all that, all that fantasy stuff. It was cool, like to be in them and look at them. Like I kind of missed that experience. I forgot about the bookstore for a second there. That, that there was there was really a lot of a lot of fun stuff at the at the mall, and I really missed mm -hmm. that original food court. Um, just the way that that was set up, the restaurants. I even liked the way that McDonald's was was in there um oh yeah i, I <laughs> here's another little funny story so i had a buddy who worked at the mcdonald's there and he said because he was he was a cook he worked in the back and he was just like if there's something special that you want jared i could maybe make it happen you know and i was <laughs> like really I'm like how it's like well you know let's say you want some uh cheese or something on your uh your mcdonald your your mcchicken I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be good. It's like, you know, you just have to do a little special, uh, you know, say something so I know that what you want. I was like, oh, okay. Well, what I wanted, of course, was cheese and like an extra patty. And he's just like, well, you're going to have to like, you know, be like, I want to have a uh, McChicken. Yeah. <laughs> so he would know. So if she would Jesus hear the Christ. claps in my voice and the yeah, he'd be like, oh, he wants cheese and a double patty on that. And I got it because I did that. Wow. That's yeah. a, that, all, that almost sounds like too much work. Like, just, well, can you do that anyway? I remember people ordering special stuff at McDonald's all the time when yeah, I worked there when I was like don't 15. Understand. I got it for free. Oh, you got you didn't pay the twenty five cents extra. <laughs> right, I didn't. That's I was great. I was in high school, man. I didn't have any you money. Can, you can put that to your towards your internet. Yeah, I got to buy helium for my internet. <laughs> to buy helium for the internet. Oh, uh, so Elizabeth Knight brings up Diamond Dave's. You remember Diamond Dave's? Yeah, part of that. Yeah, original food court. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, the original food court. It was kind of funny because I remember how busy it always was. Mm -hmm. Like if you went to the if you're at the mall on a Saturday, there'd be a big long line coming out. It would come out the door, out the front doors, and kind of wrap around the building. That people really wanted to get in there. Yeah, and then right next to it was uh, what is it? Some some barrel or whatever the heck that's called. Oh yeah, it's a barrel. Yeah, it's a barrel. Yeah, <laughs> barrel. I forgot all about that. Yeah, they had all these these great things, and then uh, and then it died. I don't know if Sabaros was that great though. But Diamond Days was pretty cool. And I remember like Diamond Days. So if you were, you know, if you were like in your 20s, um, Diamond Days was kind of like where all the mall hang employees would hang out after work. Cause I mean, you were pretty much, you know, because they stayed, I think they could stay open like an hour or two later than oh, the mall. Sure. So that was like, you know, you could go get a drink there, even though the rest of the mall was closed, which is pretty cool. It's part of that whole communal thing, community thing that was going on. I want to say that I only ate there once because, you know, I think, well, I was, well, I don't know when that went, but it, I think it left during the remodel. So I 
and that was pretty, mm-hmm. you know, I probably just turned 20 or, you know, so I don't know. I never really had the opportunity to go there a whole lot. My parents didn't take me there. And that's just a part of my life that I'll never get back. So. Yeah. So we were talking about things in the middle of the mall. Uh, my friend Dawn mentioned uh, trendsetter fashion shows like back in back in the late 80s because she was a she was a model and she would model some stuff. Uh, and she, she was part of that, which is pretty cool. I think the thing that we must never forget Mm -hmm. are the original commercials of the Wassa Mall, Wassa (laughs) Center. Or even the fact that there were commercials. There was commercial. I think you can go on YouTube and find a commercial for the Wassa Center Mall. Oh man, we gotta. I I might. I might rip that off for the video. We'll see. Yeah, you rip it off and you put it on there because I'm telling you. You might be watching. You might be watching it underneath us right now. I don't know. Yeah, take a look at this clip. (laughs) (laughs) roll roll that clip but we're not gonna have the sound we won't have the sound anyway if i well maybe i'll cut it in we'll see so you might have you might have just heard that you might not i'm not sure um let's see let's move on yeah but the commercials we got to check that out I'll, i'll check that out after the podcast um Let's see. I don't know if this one. Well, you know, you know, what I just I just re- was reminded of uh, someone else brought the smell of the almonds too. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that just reminded me of like you know, and I almost I almost forget about this these days. But the area in front of the mall used to be a pedestrian area. You could it was walking yeah. only. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of funny. It's kind of funny too because now uh, now there's all this stuff with like dining outside and stuff like that. And that'd be way more conducive to have that than, than having the street go through. I think it's very possible that I might even have footage of, of that, but it's only because do you know, like shows where you prank people? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we had this, uh, we were, we were hiding in the Washington square and we would tie like a fishing string to a wallet. And you know, like you said, people would walk walk in that pedestrian area. And so we had the wallet out there with a little dollar that was sticking out. Again, this was mm-hmm. when I was in high school, you know, immature and stuff, but that's where all these great stories are is when you were a kid. So when somebody would come by and they'd come to pick up the wallet, the just before they grab it, we'd pull it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was done right on that pedestrian walk there. Yeah. Hey, Except you there was one guy. There was one, one guy, guy who we, we let him pick it up all the way. He ripped through the entire wallet, like this big old jerk. He's just like, and then we came, I was like, that was my wallet. And he's like, I don't care. <laughs> nice. True. Hey, you want to try to play this commercial? I pulled it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can do this. Let me share the desktop. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, man. You got all your personal information. What are you What are you searching for on Amazon? Okay. Carried away this Wednesday, the Warsaw Center Mall opens with a oh, burst yeah. of excitement. It's a new shopping center with colorful, sensational stores, a variety that seems Craggies. a fun place to shop. <laughs> this old guy in a suit with a baseball mitt. <laughs> <mid. laughs> she's really mad that he has a baseball mitt. <laughs> Look at that gift. She doesn't even know what it is, and she's getting love. Oh, that's amazing. Beautiful. That's amazing. All right. We're going to, we're going to come out of that. Uh, how do I make that? Oh, crap. Stop share. And we're back. All right. Oh, oh it's playing right. again. Stop. Okay. No one should let me use the internet. Um, yeah. That was great, man. That made my day. Yeah. You know, we should do yeah. like that. Well, if I was going to do that, I should have just pulled up. I should have pulled up the uh, video I had too, but uh, well, that's all right. We'll, we'll interlay it later. It's not that exciting. Uh, I let's I see. I don't, I don't think I have the power to bring stuff up, but yeah, you know. Or do I? No, I'd have to give it to you. Oh, and I don't want to give it to you. I don't want to give you that I'll power. I'll send you some footage. I'll send you some stuff if I can find it. Let's is that, see. Uh, is that water from the mall? Is that mall water? Yeah, I saved it, but I'm drinking it special for the podcast. <laughs> it's from the it's from the original fountains. <laughs> I'm just looking. 
the original original malt water uh malt fountain water yeah it's good it tastes like it tastes like copper and all those coins they throw in there so i'm trying to find someone's uh a lot of people mentioned Diamond Dave's. Um, someone talked about, had a story about Harry Potter book, but I don't know if I can make sense of it in time for the... So now I'm getting the ones I haven't read through because a lot of came in after I was done. Well, you better do them all, man. You better do every single one. Uh, of jelly, jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Do they, sell, do they sell Jelly Belly at the mall? Uh, maybe if it was like in one of those like standalone little things in the I don't know. Maybe the I bet you I bet you they did at one vending time. machines, maybe little vending machines. Hey, so so I know that Spencer's mm -hmm. is moving to to Rib Mountain, right? But yeah, what are they are they doing anything with Hot Topic or is that gone? I think Hot Topic is gone. Okay. I tried to track down all the stores that were gonna gonna stay and we're gonna be leaving, but. Uh, there was a lot. Of, there was still a lot of to be determined the last time I did that. So, mm. like bourbon chicken was one that was to be determined, and they ended up that fall through. Um, I think that Zumia has just left. Uh, what else? Yeah, like the jewelry stores. Was that? Is that? How many were there? Two of them. Well, how K, many were left? Yeah, there were two, and Kays had built one in in Rib Mountain. They, they were one of the first people to leave even before the mall was officially, you know, they were kind of in the early part of that. Um, but the other one, uh, what do you think? The other, the other one I think just left. I don't think they, I don't think they opened anywhere. It could be wrong. Okay. Uh, here's a, here's a, oh, go ahead. What? I would say it's strange how like Rim Mountain has become like the shopping area right i mean that's like mm -hmm. if you need something to go to a mountain i mean there's you know the stores that are downtown are uh you know i don't i don't really i don't even really go to them i know that there's some there's some fashion stores there probably a little more spendy than i you know i don't have money for those so. well i definitely like uh campbell hines menswear yeah 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 yep. yeah good stuff good. <laughs> they're not to know i go to, I, I do um I mostly go, I think, I think it's starting to transform from like a shop type of a place to more of experiences, you know, there's like bars and restaurants and nightlife, that kind of stuff. I think, I think that's kind of the, I think that's the future of downtown. I don't think you're going to see as much retail in the future, but, and I, I think it's been kind of shifting that way. If you look at all the stuff that's on third street now, it's a lot of restaurants now and it used to be all, all shops. Right. So that's interesting, yeah. but. So here's a here's a good one. Uh, oh, go. Well, I said because they do have the events that are going on at the 400 block, and it just makes mm -hmm. sense to have more eateries than, you know, shopping. Um, yeah, I agree. I, th I think it makes a lot of sense, and that seems to be the way it's going. So, uh, so here's a good one from Lindsay. Lindsay is uh, she actually met her her now husband Brandon Brandon Allen of the Allen Brothers at J.C. Penney. Well, yeah, I think there was a lot of dates that would happen at the mall. That's the true. Day. So fun fact, I took I took the photos for their wedding. Oh, did you? Yep. At and the mall? Met... <laughs> yeah, we had Aladdin's Castle. That's where we where we did it. No. Where love plays. But no, that's pretty that's pretty cool uh, that they that they uh, they they met there and you know now they're they're married today so that's a pretty cool memory huh my my great uncle who has now passed on he would go to his wife he met at J C Penney and he would go in there like every day to go and just talk to her like and mm -hmm. and at this point in his life he was already probably in his like mid fifties or something like that oh. but he so he had been married and you know divorced but then like so he met this. Uh, Marjorie's her name met her at the mall and he's like this 50 year old man who's like going to flirt with this woman at Jay-Z you know? and she was like how old uh yeah like the same age right so oh okay yeah she worked there and then they uh they fell in love at J.C. Penney interesting interesting that's cool yeah I mean uh I think I think uh that was one thing I, I kind of missed because you know out of, out of once you're out of school I mean there's 
I think it becomes harder to meet members of the opposite sex and especially if you're not someone who's like really into into bars and you know going to bars a lot then uh and clubs and that kind of thing and I was never really into that so the mall kind of worked like that because you could meet a lot of people and you were kind of in this big you, you, it was great because it's like it was not all your co-workers it was people that worked at other stores so there's a little bit of just enough separation but just enough togetherness and I think that's something we're losing today. I, I, we just don't have those same types of experiences, I don't think. To meet people organically? No, not really. Uh, well, <laughs> Everything's so separated now, you know? And this past year certainly has not done any favors for us as far as that goes. <laughs> that just add, adds to it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's, that's, uh, yeah, it's really sad to, like, uh, you know, like, like, remember when it was weird to meet somebody or online to say like we met online like <laughs> yeah i know right and now it it's like, like the if you worst say you met online it's like you met where at a shopping market <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's an interesting shift um because i was just thinking not not only with like dating and stuff but you know, my friend Tom's kind of talking about, I'm not going to read the whole thing, it's pretty long, but basically he's talking about, you know, being a young teenager and going and hanging out and all your friends would be there. And like, you know, there was a place where you could go and you'd probably find some people that you knew. So you, you did not really have to go like make plans with somebody. You could just kind of show up and probably someone was going to be there that you oh, knew. Absolutely. Yeah. There'd be many times when I would go over to Randy's house and he wouldn't be there. And I, I could make a bet if he was not working, He'd be at the mall, but he did work at like every place in the mall anyway. Yeah. So most likely he's going to be at the mall. There was always mm -hmm. a time of day you could find Randy at the mall. Nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, I, I remember like for the first time I saw mall rats, I thought it was the coolest thing. Cause I was like, Oh my God, they made a movie about us. <laughs> you know, I mean, really it was like, it was like, there wouldn't, for whatever weird reason, nobody was really making a, a movie about that phenomenon. And and so Kevin Smith, to his credit, man, he kind of pioneered that genre. I don't know if it's a genre, but, the you know, he was, genre? Yeah. You know, there was a mall genre. Well, there was, there was uh fast times at Fairmount high, but. So what do we have now, as far as like something that brings people together i mean so like there's the mall of america but honestly i mean that's not that's not even what it used to be right so like what what is it what do we have now where it's like a like a where do you find people where are they <laughs> i don't think they have that anymore i mean you know my for for me i think it's whitewater music hall and you know i'm giving you guys a shout out so that one's for free <laughs> but i mean i go that's like one of the places i can go where i'm I don't, I can just go by myself and I'll probably find someone I know that I can chat with. Um, sure. You know, it's not, it's not exactly the same as the mall, but um, otherwise I don't, I don't really know. We don't have those same kind of experiences anymore. I was even thinking as jobs, you know, I get these kids that deliver, you know, every once in a while I, I order takeout and I have to get these kids that deliver. And I think like, you know, they don't, I don't even see them. They like drop it off at my door. Yeah. And then they get back in their car. I'm like, in some ways, I probably would have really loved that as a, as a teenager or even in my 20s. I would have liked it probably a lot more than having to sit at some dumb store and, and uh, you know, wait on customers. But, like, I also met people and I learned how to deal with people. And I learned how to, you know, I learned people skills. Like, you know, and you get that at the mall. You deal with all kinds of people. And sometimes you have to learn just kind of how to placate people like a crazy Ray-Ban guy, you know. I mean, it sounds yeah. funny, but you learn to deal with like all kinds of different personality types. There was a, when I was working at the, the Hoffman Hobbies in the mall, yeah, there'd be people coming in and I, like, I can't get rid of them, right? So I have to <laughs> learn, to, like, I have to learn to engage with them, even if I have no interest in, in actually dealing with this person at that moment. Right. Uh, but yeah, I think that's good customer service, right? And that's the thing. That's the thing is like, because in the mall too, most of the time, especially at that store weekday, you're the mm -hmm. only person working. So you can't like kind of like pawn the, someone off to somebody else or, you know, like they're a customer. There, there does come a point though, 
we you get a few that just like will never leave where like the security guy will be like hey if you're not buying anything you got to get out of here <laughs> you know? yeah yeah the funny thing is they would kick people out but like and what you know what was really their rubric for kicking people out because you could come walk if you're old you could come walk and just walk yeah, with laps yeah. around the mall and they're not going to kick you out but if you're a teenager no, they're, not gonna kick, they're not going to kick you out of the mall just my experiences with like an individual store there comes a point like because if some guy is just talking to me and there's other customers oh yeah them, and i go and deal with them but then he'll i had this guy who would just follow me around it's like dude please man i kind of forgot about that <laughs> like <laughs> having people who just would not leave crazy rayban guy was kind of like that too but i didn't mind i didn't mind him i think i had some other people that were worse that i really didn't like very much but that guy i like I at least got a kick out of he was entertaining we had a good uh, I gave him the uh, I gave him the our old Ray Ban catalog one time. I thought he was gonna cry. He was so excited. No kidding. Wow. He like really just thought it was the greatest thing. He's like, you don't you don't want anything for this? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yours, man. This is like history. history I think he probably I think he probably went home and framed it. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you know what? If if I like Ray Ban, I would do that too. He sure likes his Ray-Ban. Hey, this is like, okay, so I'm pretty much at the end of my list. Uh, but <laughs> the last one is the funniest one. Uh, this comes from Maggie, Maggie Keenan. I don't, I don't know this. I don't know if I know this person. Am I friends with her? You must. Yes, I am. I don't know. I, I, sometimes I just friend, some, sometimes not, I just request, if someone, strangers, man. yeah, sometimes if someone requests me, I'm just like, sure, whatever. That's cool. I, do. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, entirely sure who this is, but uh, she writes, so it was in my prompt was like, what are your memories of the mall? And she said, when my mom offered me to the whitewater team from France. Wow. Take her. <laughs> I don't need her. She's a pain. I did, so that, that brings up something kind of cool because the, uh, you know, we used to have those international whitewater competitions, you know, back when I was working at the mall in the early 2000s. So so you'd get like, all of a sudden you'd get these people coming through speaking all kinds of different languages or accents if they spoke English. And I remember that, that was, that was pretty cool back in the day. Cause you know, you're sitting around bored waiting for customers and it was something exciting. All of a sudden it seemed like the Wisconsin Dells where there's, you know, there's so many different people <laughs> from uh, all over in the Wisconsin Dells. I, I filmed a number of those, uh, those white water rafting things. Oh yeah. Uh, well, they're trying to do that again. They're trying to do that again where they have international competition. Well, they should. I think they just they need some, I think water. they did some upgrades and stuff that, you know, let them do that again. Well, the water still works, you know, so like open it up. Well, they've been using it. I, I mean, it's not like they're not using it, but they, they wanted to do some upgrades because it wasn't up to international competition standards or whatever. I don't, I don't know what that stuff is, but. Uh, yeah, one other. So one other thing I was going to bring up that no one talked about is uh, at one point, at one point, the band Nickelback came to the mall when I was working. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, like I'm not at all. Back then, I was not and I'm not today a fan of Nickelback. I don't really like them. But like they're watching this right now, you know. Yeah. They're, they're, they're like they're hitting the unlike button, right? <laughs> the downvote button. Like, how dare you? I don't like you. <laughs> yeah i think two of them came up to my booth but i don't i don't think i pretended i think i knew who they were but i pretended i didn't but i was wow. not, i wasn't i wasn't a dick to them either so i just bitter. i just treated them like customers but <laughs> but just, uh just yeah people were like freaking out they were like following them around there was like this entourage i'm like oh god wow you know what? I don't think I would know what they look like if they came in. I wouldn't know. Oh, I wouldn't. Like. I wouldn't have known except uh, everyone was pointing them out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have known what they looked like. Maybe, maybe the lead singer. I've seen him enough times, probably, but he didn't. He didn't come. But like, I think the bass player and maybe the drummer came up or something. Oh. But they 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 were uh, they were playing at bases loaded out in town because they were in between. I think they had. They had a show in Minneapolis and a show in Milwaukee, and there was like a space in between, so they figured they'd stop and play, play a show in between on their tour or something. See, that's the beauty of Wassa. You're just kind of like in between. <laughs> you know, and recently I uh, I, I, I passed uh, Laura Trump in the mall. 
Is that right? That was like, yeah, that was like, uh, what was that? Two winters ago, I think. She was at the mall. I didn't know. I, I didn't know who she was, but I came. I was coming from a county meeting, and I, I would usually cut through the mall from the courthouse back to the city pages office. And I saw all these all these security vehicles, and they, you know, they, they, I didn't recognize any of the designations. I was like, "What is this about?" And I thought, "All right, well, whatever." I kept walking, walked through the mall, and all of a sudden, there's this there's this woman that looked, you know, didn't really look like she belonged in Wasa. And then there was a bunch of Secret Service people, and I was like. I was looking. I was like, God, I wonder what. I wonder who that is. And then, uh, then I then I went on Facebook and I saw people said that Laura Trump was in town. So I looked up a picture of her and I'm like, Oh yeah, that was her. Wow. Which uh, I don't. Actually, I don't remember. Is she married to one of the Trump sons or something like that? I don't. I don't know anything. I, I looked it up at the time and then I, I. I don't remember. I don't really care that much. But. So. Wait, so what is she exactly? I don't know what she she's she's a Trump of some sort, but yeah, I think she's married to one of the Trump sons. I think. Okay. Well, here I have the internet. Why don't I just look but, it up? But she's got her own like Secret Service and all that. That's, that's yeah, so pretty much. If you're uh, oh, so she was a former television producer too, apparently. But well, uh, oh yeah, she's married to Eric, so that's Eric Trump's uh, wife. Okay, Eric Trump. So now I looked it up. There's the power of the internet, and I didn't even need to get, tap my helium to do it. That was a, yeah, I'm probably gonna start running out soon. I don't know how much longer <laughs> it's gonna last. Like I ch changed it while it, when it went down that one time. I changed the helium. <laughs> it's gonna be like instead of cryptocurrency, it's gonna be helium currency. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna sell your own helium coin. That's why I'm just testing it out. It's just this is a prototype back here, but I think I think it has potential. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's any other mall stuff that I want to talk about. It's kind of I, I guess we could cap it off by just saying, like, you know, how does it feel to see it be gone? Like, because it kind of didn't hit me until like when the bulldozers were out. And I was like, oh, man, that's just going to be gone. Like, I can't go through it anymore. I can't. Uh, yeah, I th it's, it's going to be even weirder from by the time I, I don't know when I'm going to get back to Wassa sometime here soon, but you know, I drove through just last weekend and it's still there. And then I just saw a sign that said like the home furniture store, we're still open during the con mall construction. Yep. And so I don't know what that, it'll be interesting to see what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. What are they doing? Is it apartments? What are they doing there? Well, that's a good, I was going to bring that up actually, because I realized we never talked about what it's actually becoming. So the idea is like, they, they just want to tear it down, have it called uh, pad ready is what they call it in development terms. It basically means it's like empty and ready to go and put new buildings on. And uh, the main idea is residential. So they, they want to do, it's, it's like mixed use buildings, but basically the idea is it'll mostly be residential with a little bit of commercial. So there might be some retail um, they brought out office space, but I just, I don't know how, how much demand there's going to be for office space. So um, the, the funny thing is they're like tearing it down, you know, but they still have to get developers who want to come in and, and build on there. So uh, presumably there will be, but, you know, it's, it's entirely possible that people will just be like, no, I don't want to. I mean, I kind of doubt it, but it's, it's, you know, it's not basically, basically there's, there's a, there's a rough idea for a plan, but there really isn't like a concrete, I want to build X, Y, Z on here. So it'll be interesting in the next few years to see how that develops. I mean, really they should have let us film there. <laughs> yeah. So no, yeah. I really, I really think so. Like it would have been, it would have been very symbolic and really cool to have, just have that last that last Christmas kind of on film, like that would be a historical um, well, I do, artifact. Well, I do technically have uh, the last year that Santa was there on film. It, you can see it in the the concept trailer for The Big Gift. You can see it. The, oh, the that's mall, true. That's true. Some of that and that. That's the last time we had Santa <laughs> at the Wasa Center Mall, Christmas of 2019. <laughs> So yeah, I think you did it smarter because you just went to the mall and asked permission, right? I did. I went to the higher ups thinking that would be, <laughs> that would help. And that, that didn't help. 
Well, to be fair, I think when we filmed for the trailer, because it was just like a quick in and out thing, we were there for yeah. like an hour and we were asking like all day, right? Like, to yeah, be there probably, that's true. It's probably best that the way we did it. It's just sad that they couldn't see the vision. Yeah. But um, I do have the shots I get thrown out of them all in the movie. So we will we'll have some footage of that. Well, that's cool, uh, too. So that'll live on. And that's that's the big gift. <laughs> yeah, that's the big gift. <laughs> out Christmas of I just teeing you up, man. I'm teeing you up for these. I know. Teeing you up for these promos. Gotta step your game up a little, man. I'm just saying. But uh, it, makes, it makes me laugh. It just, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited about the movie to come out. Um, I know it'll have at least some little bits of the mall in it, and uh, I'm, 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 I, I am generally excited to see what happens in that space, but. And I, I understand how the mall had to go, man. It's just, it's outlived its usefulness, but you know, it's kind of sad to see it. I mean, even, even the day that they actually locked the doors, cause they didn't really give, they didn't really say it's going to happen in two days. It was like, Oh, today we closed the doors. It's like, Oh man, I would have liked to have yeah. gone and walked through it one more time before, but you know, I was, I was through it plenty of times. So I don't know. It's a little, it's a little sad to see. It is. And I bet that they're actually pretty ex happy that they didn't do the movie theater thing, considering that movie theaters right now are, you know, struggling. But uh, that's true. They were That was going to be quite the ordeal, though it would have been nice to have like a, to save it, you know, to do something with some area of it. But what's Agreed. going on with the home furniture? What are they doing? The same put. Oh, it's a separate sorry. building. Okay. Yeah. Well, all the anchor stores, they're they're separate buildings. Like when when they took down the Stevens Point Mall, like the shop go stayed put because it was basically a separate building attached to it. Gotcha. They just gotta wall it up or whatever. So but yeah, it'll be I I, I wonder how they're doing because it's kind of a hard store to get to if you don't have the mall access. Not impossible, yeah. but kind of annoying. Yeah, right. They'll probably move eventually, I would think. Well, eventually they'll have an open space, but, you know, during the construction, it'll probably suck for them. Well, I'm sure they got some great ideas and Wasa will just flourish and, you know, they'll make something that like a Lego store. I well, by the, by the JC, I was going to tell you by the JC Penny area, they've got this like, this long kind of snaking walkway kind of going down to the river planned. I'm still not oh. sure how exactly how that's going to look like, but uh, it sounds like pretty cool. So it'll be interesting to see if they actually build that. And there's supposed to be a beer garden over there and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Beer. beer. What a Wisconsin thing to do. <laughs> of course. That's what we do here. So, yeah. All right. Beer. Well, you can't grow beer in a garden. I don't care if who you says are. you can't you can grow hops <laughs> all right okay. well I, i've had enough of you for one day so uh i oh, think we're I'm gonna close off the, <laughs> we're gonna close off the podcast really upset i don't want to you know what i don't want to uh i don't want to run you out of helium for your internet so we're gonna we're gonna call our quits but uh hey thanks everyone for listening you know send off to the mall see you later r.i.p r.i.p wasa center it was was good knowing you thanks for being part of our our childhoods and and yeah thanks for watching hit the like and subscribe button i gotta remember to say that at the beginning i keep forgetting i'll, I'll put that little symbol on I, i've been good about that lately so um and that's it like and subscribe and you know listen and uh go watch all of jared crook's films uh he's on youtube we can watch all that stuff for free give him some love go watch the stuff on amazon prime too it's pretty cool and uh jared thanks for being on i love i love having you on love, love doing this stuff if you're a good uh a good temporary co-host i'll have you on again probably sometime soon sounds great man the big gift <laughs> <laughs> the big gift keep it awesome jared you gotta say it back god damn it how many times no, have you been on the podcast you said that you have to be the last one to speak. So I'm just letting you, I'm just letting you, all right, keep it yep. awesome. All right, that, you say whatever you guys think. It's like six times he still doesn't get it. Jesus. All right.
<laughs> Keep it awesome, guys, and we'll see you next time.